Whoa, hey, are you ready for this episode of Steven's Garage 216? I am. Let's get to it. Welcome to Steven's Garage 216. We're here. Got stuff to do today. Get, get things done. And again, I want to warn you. Not quite sure what order we're doing these videos in. But um, it's probably going to be almost like a Quentin Tarantino movie. The way I post them or what's going to go up first, second, third and all that stuff. Let's get the garage open. I want to show you what I talked about before about the... Um, the cooling box, the, the the big black plastic box that has the uh, the radiator, the condensing coil or evaporator or whatever, all that stuff in it. Let's get on that, take a look inside, get it cleaned out. While I get the garage open, why don't you go right down below, hit that like button, please make a comment, let me know what other kind of stuff you want to see. Don't forget I mentioned before, we got a four-wheeler back over there that we need to get working on and who knows it might not even be a four-wheeler by the time I get done with it <clears throat> um, let's uh, let's make some comments make sure you like subscribe and hit that uh, notification button let's get this garage open all right there we go now <clears throat> real quick we're gonna get to it it's right there there's the box with the radiator and everything in it and uh, if you can tell that is pretty nasty in there. That is really gross and dirty. There's grass down in there. There's sand from being in Florida. There's all kinds of stuff in there. This radiator actually doesn't look like it's in all that great a condition. I'm gonna wash it out though. We'll see what happens. But uh, <clears throat> I know that if you uh, might have seen, or like I said, it depends on what order we're doing these, these videos in, but I just thought I'd show you real quick the bearings that came out of there. Those are all brand new bearings. I'll tell you what, make a comment down below. Tell me what you think happened on a brand new engine and why these are already tore up after barely getting the engine started. We got to get the table out of the garage. We got to get that pulled out of the garage. Get the, uh, get the pressure washer and get cleaning on that. I want to show you how to take it apart, get it cleaned out, what kind of chemicals I use, what chemicals to use, not use, so on and so forth, things like that. Uh, let's get to it. All right, so we've got the box out. Oh, got a little quarter inch adapter on my drill here. Let's try this. Try a seven millimeter because we got some small screws here on the side. Yep, that's it. I can tell they somebody's had all this apart before and they've never even there's like other holes here there's no they never even put all the screws back in I will I'll find some All those undone, these undone. Looks like we're gonna have to undo fans too. And again, not all those were put in because that one's missing. So somebody's definitely had this apart before. Yeah, there's, there's 
rocks in there. I'm sure you heard that. and clean. It's so pretty. All right, let's get that off to the side. So that's the condensing coil I was looking at and that doesn't look so bad. But we're gonna clean both of these out real good. This radiator looks new, so that's probably part of, part of it. But what I don't understand is it looks new, but there's a sludge in here. We're gonna see if we can get that out from inside because there's, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like, there's something inside there. They probably use like a, oh, I'm drawing a brain fart here. They probably use some kind of like a, stop leak or something in the car at one point and it's made its way into this radiator so we got the pressure washer out let's get the hose hooked up to the pressure washer next i'm going to show you the chemicals that we're going to use we're going to clean we're going to clean the uh, condensing coil first and the radiator and then we'll get the other stuff cleaned up the fans um the housing and all that looks like it's got a couple cracks in it too i'm not going to worry about filming that but I'll, I'll fix up the cracks, get it all cleaned up real good. And I was telling you before, at number 73, we'll get that off of there. That's It's obviously a junkyard part. This all came from the junkyard. It's got missing bolts and stuff on it. Not all of them are there. All right, so this is the chemical I use. It's called Actibrite. I've had this bottle. This bottle will last you for years and years and years. As long as you mix it properly and don't try to use more than what it says. Just do the right content. It's like one to two. You really you want to water it down because it is corrosive. <clears throat> so this is not what is in here. This is what's in here. I just grabbed a bottle that I had. Oh, and I just now realized there's no sprayer on it. All right, let me find a sprayer. Okay, so <clears throat> I found a sprayer. Stole it from that, which I don't like that stuff. But only filled it up to about here with the pink juice. The rest of it's water. And this is what we're gonna use. And this stuff foams up real good. See it's already foaming, turning white, cleaning all the aluminum. And pretty soon the fins will start to fill in and it'll foam up and push any dirt that's in there out. See? Foams up. Just pushing the dirt. Look at it, pushing the dirt right out of there. All right, we got to <laughs> rinse that off. Well, I'm going to be rinsing this a while because, like I said, you got to really rinse it off good. or Otherwise, it's just going to keep eating at it. But look at all that dirt coming out of there. How brown that foaming was white. Now it's brown coming out of there. That's all the dirt. All right, so we got the radiator. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> it's so hard to do that. So we got the radiator clean real good inside and out. Man, I had a lot of mud come out of there. It's, it really does look like a new radiator. I don't know why there'd be a whole bunch of sludge in there. Other than, like I was saying, there must have been a, a leak, which is what originally blown the motor, and it overheated, and they tried using stop leak or something. I kind of don't know at this point. Then we got the evaporator coil clean. Look how 
it's a little beat up but i'll tell you it's it's very clean you can see through it my i don't i don't really have a concern with it it should pump out some really nice cold air it should be fine um well pump out cold air inside the car but um i did kind of think for a minute there i'm like you know what screw it we're just gonna go with a new one and i tried calling around and nobody has new ones nobody i called advanced i called AutoZone. i called napa <clears throat> this side looks better i called napa i called AutoZone. nobody has one look we got the fan shroud cleaned up real nice that's nice and clean both sides we got that clean inside now and we've got this piece that's the bottom half cleaned real good inside now so now we're gonna wipe I have some cleaner that should take that 73 off and then I might just use some flat black just kind of give it a, a little coating you know nothing harsh or, or heavy I mean just a dusting to kind of uniform all the color and not see the little scratches. I just want it to look really nice when I put it back into the car. And mind you, that thing sits right here. You can see the mounting holes there. It sits right there. So anyway, let's get it back together. And let's, uh, I'm not gonna put it back in the car. It's something I can't do, I'm not ready for that. I really wanna get the engine and stuff back in. So I'm gonna get it back together. Uh, you see me take it apart? Just do that same thing in reverse. Um, I did spray down the engine bay again. I used a, not anything I needed to show, but you definitely don't use that chemical in the engine bay. You could, but it's more of an aluminum cleaner, brightener. Uh, I did heat, I used to do heating and cooling for 20 years before truck driving and all this stuff. It's really supposed to be for your outside condensing on your home. So uh, that's what that's for. So I'm gonna get this stuff back together, uh, get it the get get the cooling box back together with the radiator and evaporator coil and stuff in it, and then um, for a bonus video, I'll find something to do real quick on the outside of the car here. Remember, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to pump these out and edit them as fast as I can, and I'm gonna have little like I said in the last video, I'm gonna have little inserts where I have to pop in um, and fix things. <laughs> for what got ruined or missing or whatever. So let me get this back together and we're gonna get right on it. All right. We got it all the way back together. All right, so we've got it all the way back together. Fans are hooked up. Got all three bolt holes, bolts in across the top and across the bottom. Got rid of the number 73, cleaned it up. Like I said, th this isn't like a professional paint job by any means of the sort. This is just taking a little bit of flat black and just kind of giving it a coating, a once over. And that was it. You got a 10 millimeter there and a 10 millimeter there. Those fan bolts are 10 millimeter. And then like I said, I found some new screws I put in there and on the other side. So it basically would go in just the way that it is. See those hole, oops. See those holes there? That basically is what lines up right there. And on that side over there. I said I wasn't gonna film it, but here it is. So I threw some more fresh green paint on that here on the side see that look how nice that is and that's completely gonna match the outside body of it I cleaned all that up painted it got that cleaned up threw a little black down there a little black on the uh, AC box got a little black down here on this area clean that up same thing nothing wrong with a little extra i mean it's not professional it's not perfect it's just 
something I do or something I would do or want done to just make it look that much more cleaner, that much more presentable, you know, that's all. A little more effort goes a long way. All right, so here's your cheesy uh, bonus footage. Actually, it's, it's nothing special, guys, gals, people, everybody. Check this. I just threw a whole bunch of, a whole can of foaming engine, engine degreaser everywhere. And uh, I'm just going to go to town on it with the pressure washer. It's been sitting a couple minutes now. I'm going to wait till the foaming is almost gone. And then I'll hit it with the pressure washer. And uh, it should come out looking pretty good. But then uh, no more uh, greasy arms and legs and what have you digging into this dang car. All right, I'm pressure washer. Pressure washer. Pressure wash this off. Rinse it off. Just like that. Look at that. Clean. Extra clean. It's like the third time I've done that. Kind of getting to be a little OCD at this point. Look how bright my wires are. You can actually tell what color all the wires are. We're going to get those in a wire loom soon. I got to do that. I won't be making a video on that because it's not that important. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find, I think I mentioned this before, you can see I did it a little bit here. You can see that that's green. It's the same green that's on the body of the car. So we're going to kind of just clean up areas of the frame like this. You know, take them, <clears throat> take and color that real quick and maybe clean that up back in there and stuff like that. That little spot there. Just kind of clean it up, paint it all green. Try to tape a few things off, maybe use some newspaper, or whatever. But uh, this thing is gonna be really, really good and spotless. It'll be real nice and clean by the time I get done with it. So that's your video. I took the box apart, I got the box uh, halfway back together. But uh, like I said, I wasn't gonna film that. This is a short one for this week. I uh, might have another one for you come Wednesday, I believe, and I'm trying to think about what order. I, I really don't care about the order that I do this in, but uh, maybe the next one I think, uh, maybe, maybe the next one I think I'll do is about taking the front bumper and the hood off and how that came, you know, how that comes apart. Really wasn't that hard. It took me about 30 minutes for the whole thing. Um, that's it. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I really want to get some comments going. I want to see what you guys uh, are really want to read or see what you guys have to say about my about my videos or things to do and stuff like that. Again, I'm hiding this four wheeler under here under a tarp. Man, I'm thinking like I, I don't even want it to be a four wheeler. I'm just thinking take the drivetrain, the axles and everything out of it. Maybe make a some kind of retro whatever 10 person golf cart or something build the build and weld the frame you know myself and all that here's the front bumper and hood for the vet but man that's going to be it this week or in this video i should say for c4 content like comment subscribe we'll see you in the next one bye